Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Salman Shah. In this video, I would like to teach you about AWS EMR. EMR stands for Elastic Map Reduce. So the goal or the objective to learn here is basically we'll have a data set on S3. We want to basically that data set contains for appropriate column. For example, this contains, let me show you, this contains the country, the date, um, the product ID and the category ID and then the clicks, right? So we want to make sure basically want to see for product um, 6407, how many clicks were there from country Russia, right? So you want to do some data analysis, right? So we have this clicks data that's, that is being generated, right? Um, so they are on the S3 and now your company told you, okay, can you write? some can you analyze this data and present some information out of it so our goal is to write a simple map function and a simple reduce function and then uh, you know uh, spin up our aws emr cluster uh, and um, uh, do the job right so let me show you uh, how that is done so that's the data set i have two python files very simple nothing complicated so i'm gonna pull up the data set and and, and remember guys my job is to make things easy not complicated so for line in assist.std in, that means it's for, for each line that re reads. So we do a split at comma. So now it's a list, right? Whenever you split, you get a list. Now, sorry for the noise. Now what I'm doing is, hey, I'm saying that, hey, zero, the zeroth index is the, uh, the country. Um, the, and then, and then, then the product is uh, the index too, right? And then essentially I'm, I'm printing the, um, that value here, right? So the country and the product, and I'm printing one as in, that means that's a click, right? Now we have a simpler reducer function. Once that is done, what we try to do here is basically for line in sister in. So for each line, uh, line dot strip, say we'll remove all the white space, right? So essentially what we are trying to create, and, and, and I'll show you this, everything, all these things on the action on AWS as well. So essentially we have something, let me just copy one of them so I can explain you here. Okay, so after our map function, essentially we would have something, uh, let me bring this here. Okay, so after my map function, I would have basically um, the country and the product ID, and then I would have its count. So for example, one, right? And as if you see, I'm, I'm separating this by a space, right? So in this um, reducer function, what I'm drawing is I'm saying, hey, split by tab. So basically I'm gonna you know, get a list again, right? Then what I'm trying to do is basically I'm converting that count into an integer, right? And uh, basically this is a for loop, right? So for all the documents, I'm gonna uh, do that and I'm gonna append everything on a dictionary. And then basically I'm gonna, you got the idea, right? I'm just gonna count that and I'm gonna print that on the, uh, I'm just gonna do a print. Now the way MapReduce works is whenever you do a print, it basically saves that data on, on Nest3. I'll, I'll show you all of that, okay? So um, essentially, as I said, nothing's complicated. We declared a dictionary here on the top and then we have country and product and then we are, you know, uh, using that value and then we are adding that count here and then essentially we want to um, do the reduce function on that right so um, now let me show you everything in action right um, th that I showed you the data set and how now things will work on AWS right so let's head over to the S3 so S3 I, I'll show you how to spin up um, an EMR cluster soon but uh, let's head over to the S3 so the Python code is very simple, man. It's not anything complicated. So I have a bucket called Somilsha uh, dev bucket. So would go there. I have a folder called click dataset, and here I have my both the Python file, the reducer and the mapper. And then I have the dataset right here. Okay. The output I'm gonna delete it because I want it to create the output. So essentially, I would like to delete that. Please confirm the deleting button. Okay. Uh, to confirm the delete type permanently delete okay got it so i'm deleting the output so i want us now start right so we have the files on the bucket now let's head over to emr cluster so on aws management console under all services you can find or simply search here on the top head over towards the towards the emr and meanwhile uh, And I've learned this from some of my plural site courses recently. So um, yeah. Uh, so let me. So that's already terminated. So I don't have to worry about that. So now let's try to create a cluster and 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 and, and, and um, you know try this out. So and remember this guys. This might take a while because when you create a cluster, it usually takes about a couple of minutes. Uh, so let's say uh, EMR learn um there are two basically launch mode cluster mode for, for spinning up a full-fledged hadoop 
cluster or I'm going to use step function, step execution, sorry, because I essentially just have two things to do uh, over here, streaming program, right? And I would click on configure. Now the mapper, right? So we'll select the Python file for the mapper. So click data set, mapper, select. Similarly for the reducer as well. Now the input for the data set. Uh, the output for the data set. So right here. And remember, I would create a folder called output. Remember guys, if this folder already exists, the your EMR job is gonna fail, okay? So make sure this folder does not exist, output. So let's click on add, uh, looks good. EMR cluster, we use M5 large, uh, we'll choose this to two. We don't need, um, and, and then everything rest to default and create a cluster. Now, as you can see, the cluster has been created or rather it's being created. Now our jobs are pending. Now, as I said, this might take a while. You have to be patient because uh, this would basically essentially, essentially uh, perform the map and then, then the reduce and it's gonna dump the data on S3. Let me pause the video and then come back once um, this is done, okay? But yeah, this is exactly what it is. It's simple, it's not that complicated. I would leave all the exercise file in the description so you guys can play and learn with it, okay? So, yeah. All right, so as you can see, my um, uh, EMR job has been done and automatically has terminated. Uh, it took about eight minutes, right? Uh, you can, if you wanna see logs and stuff, you have the ability to do that, right? So you can go to the steps and my, both the steps are, have been completed. Heading over to the S3, as you can see, I don't have an output, but now when I refresh, I see an output folder. Now, as you can see, this is my processed file, guys. So I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna download this file and I'm gonna show you uh, how the data looks like after uh, basically the map and then reducing it, okay? So that's the function, ah, it's still being downloaded. So gotta be patient. Uh, still downloading, I shouldn't have opened it. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> no worries, uh, let's get rid of these files. Get rid of that file. Okay, so is that done? Uh, let's, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what happened there, but okay, let's try. Yeah, it's about a 49 megabytes. Um, oh, okay, there you go. So now I'm gonna open that with Notepad++ and uh, hopefully it won't crash. <laughs> let's see. All right, so now what we essentially did is we have the country, we have the product, the product ID, and then we have the account. Now the data analysis can say, oh, from Poland, this product uh, was viewed that many times or regarding that product was viewed that many times. So you can do some analysis. So you can convert this into a pandas data frame. Your delimiter would be slash T because we uh, wrote that in the stuff, but, but you got the idea, right? It's pretty easy. EMR is very, very easy to use on AWS, right? So hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, do give a like on the video and all the exercise file are on the GitHub section. So do check that out. If you have any more questions, list your question in the comment section. And as usual, guys, keep smiling, keep coding, and I will see you guys.